Hello students, welcome to class. We have completed the syllabus for periodic test 1. Now, in my coming videos before the exam, we will be discussing and revising on the lessons that would be coming for your periodic test. The first lesson I have taken up is the last leaf. Now, I want every one of you to take out your books and follow me with the reading session and understand the lines. The last leaf by O. Henry. Let's start the story. Sue and John C., two young artists, shared a small flat. The story begins by introducing the two important characters, Sue and John C. They are two young artists who shared a small flat. That means they are giving equal share of the rent. The flat was on the third story of an old house. John C. fell very serious, seriously ill in November. So November is a cold month and at that time John C. fell very seriously ill. She had pneumonia. What is pneumonia? Pneumonia is an infection of the lungs when you have breathing problem and that is what COVID-19 you know, the virus attacks the lungs and it is said that during this winter season, the viruses are very hard heated. They attack more than the summer seasons. She would lie in her bed without moving, just gazing out of the window. Gazing means looking out. So John C was seriously ill. She would sit down there, you know, feeling helpless and hopeless, and she would just gaze out, look out of the window for long hours. Sue, her friend, became very worried and her roommate or her flatmate, Sue, the other young artist, she became very worried about John C because she behaved very depressed and very sad all the time. She sent for the doctor. Although he came every day, there was no change in John C's condition. The doctor was called every day, you know, because she was so seriously ill and she looked so sad and depressed. The doctor came every day, no doubt, but John C's condition did not improve. One day, the doctor took Sue aside and asked, Is anything worrying John C? No, replied Sue. But why do you ask? She asked the doctor. The doctor said, John C, it seems has made up her mind that she is not going to get well. If she doesn't want to leave, medicines will not help her. And it is indeed true. The doctor said that Sue was so depressed, she, she had given up her desire to leave. And when a person has given up the desire to leave, nothing will help that person. And so Sue was like, you know, she was taking the medicines, sorry, John C was taking the medicines but she was not recovering because she had lost her hope and her positiveness to live life. So it's very important here the message, very strong that if we fight our illnesses strongly and if we really you know have a positive attitude in life and very strong in everything we do everything will open up and there would be you know even even very grave illnesses would be cured and these miracles are very very you know common and they are the stories about how people get cured not by medicines but by their positive attitude sue tried her best to make john c take an interest in things around her so what can a friend do to make her you know friend get over her illness she tried her best and this paragraph is talking about how you know sue tried her best to make john c happy and positive she talked about clothes and fashions so all girls they lo love to talk about clothes and fashionable things but john c did not respond to these topics of sue John C continued to lie still on the bed, feeling hopeless and helpless. Sue even brought her drawing board into John C's room and started painting. 
and Sue, you know, she brought her drawing board and, uh, you know, like, you know, they are artists and she tried to, you know, draw her attention of her friend through the paintings. To take Johnson's mind off her illness, she even whistled while working. So even she tried to whistle a song or some, you know, to create a you know, good ambience or create a very positive uh, environment in the room. Do you think did this helped Johnsy? We don't think so. Let's let's find out. Suddenly, Sue heard Johnsy whisper something. She quickly rushed to the bed and heard Johnsy counting backwards. Backward counting, you all know, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So why was she counting backwards? What was the problem? She was looking out of the window and was saying 12, you know, in exclamatory mark, uh, with exclamation 12. After some time, she whispered 11, then 10, then 9, 8, 7. Sue anxiously, anxiously looked out of the window and Sue wondered what she was counting and looking out of the window and she anxiously looked out of the window and what did she see there? She saw an old ivy creeper climbing halfway up the brick while opposite their window. In the strong wind outside the creeper was shedding its leaves. So she saw a creeper with few leaves there and there was a strong wind blowing outside and due to the strong wind, the creeper was slowly shedding its leaves. And that was what, uh, uh, jo I mean, John C. was uh, counting backwards. It was an old ivy creeper and it was not a very uh, new one that strong, old one and it was climbing halfway up the brick wall. It's opposite, situated opposite to the to the window where John C. had a bed. So what happened after that? What is it, dear? Sue asked John C. Six, whispered John C. They are falling faster now. Three days ago, there were almost a hundred leaves. There are only five left now. It is autumn, said Sue, and leaves will fall. When the last leaf falls, I will die, said John C. with finality. I have known this for the last three days. So you can see how depressed and sad John C. was. When Sue, uh, when Sue told her that it is autumn, the fall uh, season, so it is uh, very obvious that uh, leaves will fall. It's a natural process. But then uh, Sue, uh, John C. told her, that no, this is an indication that when the last leaf will fall, I will die. And that is the finality. And I have been watching this creeper, EV creeper, uh, since the three days. And it had 100 leaves and now hardly it had five. So this proves that uh, John C., you know, tried to compare her situation in life, you know, because she was having illness and she was feeling negative so she took everything around her as negative so this is what this is what happens to everyone you know uh, of us that when something goes wrong with us something bad we find that everything that is happening around us is very bad or negative it is against us it is an indication it is a signal to us that something bad is going to happen so remember that Whatever may it happen, a positive attitude in life would always help you to move ahead in life and move away from any bad that is happening to you in the present moment. So goodbye and I'll continue the next part in the next class.